Good evening, and welcome. When we last left our friends, they had managed to leave Africa, gotten themselves into and back out of a rather sticky situation in Monaco, and met a ragtag group of circus performers. Upon hearing that this was a traveling show, our friends purchased the circus in hopes of it taking them home to New York. Unfortunately, that plan didn't hey, pan out hello, so well. Hello, monkey person. You are boring the players. They're not even going to play this game if you don't stop with all of the talking. Do you mind? Mind? No, not at all. It is my pleasure. What the hairy, boring guy over there was trying to say is the old circus, for which they had paid way too much money, was... <laughs> and the freaks were never going to make it home to New York. Which happens to them a lot when you think about it. Luckily, King Julian... That's me. Was there to help those freaks. I teamed up with a very beautiful and hairy bear. And our motorcycle act was just a hit that was needed to make the circus a success all over Europe. The end. Actually, it's not the end. We've just started. You don't. But I thought it was over because I already told the story. No. Oh. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> Did you see that, Morris? I made the paper fly. Well, it seems the idiot has left the building. Now it's time to see your circus. Go on, give it a try. With their training complete, everyone was eager to return to Rome and get ready for the debut of the new circus. Of course, there was the small matter of getting people to see the show. And if there's anything I know how to do, it's throw a party. Or a circus in this case. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shake what your mama gave you! <laughs> yes! <coughs> Yes, it was actually the penguins who helped attract the crowd. You sat around drinking espresso. I could not have performed my important duties if I was all shrivelly and dried up. If I turned to dust, the people would be mourning their dusty king instead of enjoying the circus. Am I right? I'm right, right? You are, sir. <sighs> yes, I know, Maurice. I wasn't asking you! And so, the newly trained Circus Zaragoza was cast to perform in Rome. But little did they know that Animal Control Officer Dubois had followed them to Italy. After their success in Rome, our circus moved on to Pisa, where our heroes... Pizza. Did you say pizza? Oh, I love cheesy, oozy, gooey pizza. It is my favorite. <laughs> but where was that famous leaning pizza tower? All doughy and oozing with cheese and sauce. Nowhere, that's where. He's so involved. Interesting, though. Pizza! I need pizza! Indeed. Moving on, then. Hey! What? <laughs> pizza! Our friends were now in Pisa, where they had a circus to put on. Oh, pizza tower. I'm so filled with... Fond memories of your cheesy goodness. <laughs> and so, Circus Zaragoza was also well received in Pisa. But would they also be a hit in the city of Paris? They would soon find out. <laughs>
so the Paris Circus was very successful. And next, our oh, friends... Oh, ho, ho, look at me! I am a mime. I can't talk. Way, way, a croissant, a blah, blah, blah. Finally. <laughs> so the Franks left Paris and went to the next city, which was London. Uh, Julia, I think that's the wrong city. What? I can't hear you. I'm a mime. <laughs> I... Oh. <sighs> Where was I? Oh, right. We went to London. King Julian, that's the wrong one, too. So we... That one's wrong, too. Oh, now come on! This is so unprofessional! But so much fun! <laughs> Maurice! Maurice, you have to try this! <laughs> the Paris Circus went off without a hitch. The next stop was London. Let's take a quick look back, shall we? First, our friends visited the untamed shores of Madagascar. Well, and all then... my parties made the freaks so happy. And then they went to Africa, where they found their roots. I got to ride a pink feathered horse and make friends with the volcano gods. Oh, finally, they reinvented a rundown circus. Where King Julian fell in love with my big-headed, hairy, lovely lady bear, Sonia. Hey, where are you going? But all the while, our friends longed to return home to New York. And finally, they had made it. There was only one final performance before they could return to their lives at the zoo. Little did they know that Dubois had followed them all the way to New York. Hey, what's going on, freaks? And so Dubois was defeated. The circus was once again a rousing success, and our friends had found their true calling in the circus. This was their real home. No, go away, Mart. I don't want to go home. <sighs> <laughs> Stop it! That tickles! <laughs> and here we are on the road again. What further adventures await us? Only time will tell. Thank you for playing. And good night. You are still here? Maurice, they're still here! You said they'd be gone when I woke up! Oh, why but the king do everything himself if he wants to turn right? Go away! It's over! <laughs>